what's up people today i want to come to you real quick before i get ready to watch my baseball game out here i wanted to talk about an issue that a lot of people are kind of wrestling back and forth with because we have an issue of deportation that has been brought on as policy has been put in place in this administration but very few people actually understand or grasp how deportation or immigration actually works well i'm gonna give you the long and short but i'm gonna do it very quickly the one thing that we have that governs the the actions of the government in this country is the united states constitution in that constitution the supreme law of the land is federal statutes along with supreme court cases as in howlett v rose and we also have this thing that makes the Constitution the supreme law of the land because it talks about this thing called treaties and privileges. Well, in the treaties and privileges clause, there is a section which deals with how you go into court and what treaty dictates the actions of the court and we're looking at it because we see a lot of people where they're talking about the mexican border and now we see a lot of mexicans or double the amount of mexicans that were coming in through the south ports which is texas arizona um california they're now coming in through canada but what we're not seeing is a lot of deportation now and the reason being is because treaty the treaties govern the actions of the court and here's where all of that gets kind of separated or kind of meshed together. I'm going to give you just two cases or two instances. One is a federal statute, which we've already established that the U.S. Constitution stated that, one, the treaty dictates the actions of the court, but the Supreme Law of the land itself is federal statutes and Supreme Court cases. So I'm going to give you one federal statute and one Supreme Court case. Under the Immigration and Nationality Act 8 U.S.C. 1255. Now, in the section, an alien does not have to prove that he has established eligibility under Section 245A of the Act. Now, basically, what that means is we're I'm going to go into some Border Patrol issues that a lot of people are having because. Border Patrol have stipulations in which, one, they can operate up to 150 miles outside of a border region. And that's mainly Arizona because you have areas in which there is no fence. There is no border wall. And it makes it difficult for, one, them to patrol, and then, two, for anyone to actually place a barrier there. So, in that instance, they are allowed you know to come out a little further but I'm gonna get into that but their main thing is you do not have to prove anything to anyone about your citizenship status they can't ask only if they believe there is something that makes you a non-citizen they have to basically articulate that there is something that is a non-citizenship which gives them grounds because one they still have to have a reason to stop you unless you are actually beside the border going to actually switch countries and at that time they there when you have the border divide that's when you actually have to articulate or show proof but outside of that region allowances are a little bit more restricted so what you have is they have to have a reason that they can articulate for you to have to prove your citizenship status or rather coming in or going out. Would be V INS 385 US 276 1966. Those that are bringing charges must prove by clear and unequivocal and convincing evidence that facts alleged as ground for deportation are true basically that old adage you're innocent to proven guilty well what happens here is 
They have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that every instance of what they're saying about you is 100% true, which is why whenever they are going to court, they hope you have no idea how to do it properly. Because even with those that are non-citizens, when you're going into court, you have to take the treaty that your established citizenship country has even if you are seeking asylum you have to take that treaty into court that that the united states has with them and all the countries have treaties with the united states all countries have different portions or acts within that that allows for them or tells them how to act with you so this is one of the things that you know has come across and reason why it's kind of close to me is simply because I'm gonna turn this camera around because I want to show you exactly how close I am to Mexico. The mountains are Mexico and they're less than two miles away. Until next time.